Hey, what are y'all doing in the microwave? Get out of there. I'm going to show y'all how to make the most bestest mac and cheese you ever had in your life, okay? Southern style. First, you're going to need mac and cheese, mac and cheese. These are the ingredients we're going to use. You're going to want to get that 7% fat ground beef, okay? Don't get none of that flying beef, none of that garbage, okay? You want ground beef. If it's not from the ground, then it don't go in my mouth, okay? So, let's grab this mac and cheese. We need a pot. <gasps> what is that, mold? This pot'll do. You're gonna wanna rinse out your pot, okay? Cause you don't know if you have a rat infestation problem, but this ain't the way you wanna find out, believe you me. Turn it on high and then let it boil like the plague. We're also gonna use butter. Oh, I turned on the wrong burner. No wonder my water's doing nothing. If you want your water to boil faster, just don't, don't watch it, okay? I hear it boils faster that way. You're gonna wanna wash your pan. Again, you don't know what kind of infestation problem you got going on in your house. No, the water's supposed to be boiling, not the bottom of the burner. What's happening? Why are you hot? That hissing noise is completely normal, I think, okay? So don't worry about it. You're gonna wanna put a little bit of oil into your pan, okay? I need more oil. There it is. And since you got a little free time, you might as well fill up your oil container. I always use trusty old canola oil, vegetable oil. You're gonna put a little more oil in here because you didn't put enough. Yeah, you put way too much. Oh, oh, no, not my noodles. And at this point, you have no idea um, timing-wise when to put the meat in, so you just go ahead and do it. Now, your beef won't cook unless you tap your tongs on your thing, okay? They just forever raw. Okay, most of this is for show. Uh, you severely misjudge the, the timing, okay? Your water's not yet boiling, but your, your meat is completely done. You're gonna wanna add a little bit of salt to your beef. You don't wanna salt bay it, okay? No, you wanna be a little more aggressive than that if you want it to taste good. So instead of salt bay, you're gonna salt. Been with that person for a while, maybe 15 years y'all been together, okay? You can pepper bay it though, okay? Pepper like you just met her. The water's still not boiling for some reason. You're starting to worry at this point, but don't worry, it'll all come together in the end. It may not taste good, but it'll come together. Now you're gonna put the rest of your ground cow in the Ziploc baggie, because uh, again, you don't know the kind of infestation problems you've got at night. Somehow air is still in there. Now the most important step, put your noodles in boiling water. Don't put your package of cheese in there. Now that that situation's taken care of, oh, they're in here. You're gonna realize you just stuck the tongs that you touched raw meat with into the macaroni. You're gonna, um, Cut that out of the video. Make sure you save your receipt too, okay? Cause you put this on the business credit card. I ain't trying to get audited over dinner. And once your beef is done, which it has been for <laughs> quite some time, go ahead and just turn it off. Turn the burner off, okay? Cause you will just overdo it. It already died once. A little trick I learned, if you have hard butter, just stick your fork inside of the macaroni water. Cuts right through it. <laughs> it smells good, it smells like bland noodles. That's how you know it's almost Noodle. And at this point, against your better judgment, you're gonna turn the beef back on because it's now stone cold. Now you're gonna wanna drain the water. Next, you're gonna wanna take that butter that you thought you could cut through earlier with these, and put that in there. Next, you're gonna take your cheese that you had boiled on accident, and then you're gonna put a little bit of milk, okay? Go ahead and plop your dead beef in there. Mix that up a bit. Get your bowl, pour in the bowl, and then the piece de resistance. Goldfish, take a handful of goldfish, crack them up, put them on top, boom, you're done. That's the most bestest mac and cheese. And that's how that's done, okay? If that's what you were trying to make, that's how that's done. 